I've got hopefully a pretty good Amazon custom return electronic pallet video for you guys today. So what I have today, I've got two very large boxes that came on one wooden pallet. I bought these from a local liquidation company and these were sent, liquidated, sent by Amazon to be liquidated. So everybody knows I love electronics. They're fun to go through. You can get out some awesome stuff in these pallets. I mean, you can get out game systems, movies, music, technology, computer stuff. I mean, if you imagine it, it can be in here. So the full Amazon.com MSRP, the full price if you bought it off the website is $1,675. But that's not the liquidation price. The liquidation price of what I paid is $246. That includes all taxes and fees and all the good stuff. No shipping cost. I buy locally in Indianapolis and I pick up in person. Because if you paid shipping on this, shipping would cost more than what I paid for the entire pallet. Shipping is expensive for liquidation because of the weight and size. So always try to find some place you can drive to even if that's four or five hours away, it'll still be cheaper to do a 10 hour round trip than it is to pay shipping costs. That's not a joke. So here we go. Box number one. Hopefully there's something in here that just blows our mind away this time. Um, okay, there's one thing on top that I have sold before. That's actually a pretty good item. Let's pull it out first. Why not? Let's start this thing off with a bang. We have a money counterfeit detector. I got this a few months back in a liquidation. This thing is still factory sealed. It is still factory sealed. So I got this thing back in a uh, liquidation pallet a few months ago and I sold it. It sold very quickly and I don't remember how much I sold it for now because it's been too long, but I'm gonna do a quick amazon.com search to see what it's being sold for currently on the amazon.com platform. So amazon.com, I finally found it. It's selling right now, brand new, for $129.99. This not only detects money, it also detects ID cards. So how fun is that? This thing is still factory seal, has not been opened up yet. So if sales new for 130 bucks, I'll probably try to sell it locally first for about a hundred bucks, see if I can do that. If I can't sell local for a hundred, then I'll throw it on like eBay for like 115, 120. And you know, one way or another, it'll, it'll sell. Go ahead, let's pull out this thing. We have a gigantic HDMI cord. This thing might be like a hundred feet long. It's a big one. This is a HDMI cord. So yeah, another like a local sale there just to try to try to sell it we have a two phone cases in here for an iphone uh yeah you know not too exciting our first iphone cord and we have an hdmi cord high speed amazon basics branded we've got a multi-fan series table cooling fan at usb powered so something like that you know 10 15 bucks or so Smells like cigarette smoke. This was in somebody's house before they sent it back that smoked in their house. Well, smell like cigarette smoke. So since it smells like cigarette smoke, I won't sell this online because, you know, it's hard to sell things with odors online because it's hard to describe it. So something like this would be a local sale, like Facebook Marketplace, let go, offer up Craigslist. You know, it'll sell, but things like that that have an odor to it like a cigarette smell or you know something like that yeah i won't sell that online just because you know you're just it's just you're, you're asking for trouble selling something like that online because uh some people have very sensitive noses and they just i totally get it oh used ink cartridges so more than likely these are going to be opened up and used and yeah so we have i oh i don't get ink on myself why did i do that okay so <laughs> what's the odds of that that one was still sealed this one is used this one's used so yeah 
Next, we've got a premium fan. So some more techie items. So that's kind of neat though. Some like this, you know, good 10, 15 bucks again. Now here we got a pretty decent item, a big old Belkin surge protector, a big old one. Yeah, I have every house or every room in my house has at least one surge protector. And so I'm selling all these things now. And this size surge protector, that's a good 20 bucks right there. Oh, here we go. PS4 game, we've got Fortnite. So this is probably gonna be the one that has, yeah, this has no game disc included. It is only a downloadable code. And um, more than likely the code's been used. I mean, and to this day, I still not found a way how to test codes without actually using them. So, I mean, something like this. I mean, I don't know. Games like this, what I do is I sell them, and I sell them as buyer beware. You know, there's no refunds. If, if the code works, you get it for a really good deal. If it doesn't work, you don't lose very much money, you know. And, uh, you know, sometimes I'll sell it for, like, you know, just kind of like just an email, kind of like a digital thing. Like, here's the code. Good luck. I hope it works, you know, for, like, five bucks. And sometimes they work, and sometimes they don't. It's just kind of like a buyer beware kind of a thing. That's kind of how I sell them. DVD is in there. Let's see, we have what is man? This thing is this case is destroyed. What is wrong here? It's like oh, man, it's taped. Oh man, I don't know what happened to happened to this. Okay, this is the Wii U, the wonderful 101. It's like. It got wet or something, and I don't know if I'm even gonna sell this thing. I don't know. Another DVD? Oh, nothing in it. Blank. Person kept the DVD. So it happens. We got a thing on Uniball pins. Here we got a couple records. Oh, we got ZZ Top. ZZ Top. I actually saw, I think I've seen ZZ Top in concert back when I was a kid. I think I did. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure I saw ZZ Top back when I was a kid. I was much, much younger. So I sell most of my records. Oh, there's two in here. Huh, <laughs> two ZZ Top. I sell most of my records for seven or $16 shipped in the US. So like these two combined are like $32 shipped. Or if you buy them both, it'd be like, you know, like 30 shipped. You know, knock off a couple bucks. I don't know what this is. Oing, Oingo Boingo? Dead Man's Party? I have no clue what that group is. Okay. Let's see, we've got iPhone cord. Okay, I found this no. on the web for iPhone. <laughs> I didn't tell you to search for an iPhone cord. Got some caster wheel. Ooh, those things. They reek, or well, they're very, very, very used, and they reek of like oil. So, yeah. Timex watch. You get a bunch of Timex watches. And you, man, this, oh, this face is damaged. The face has it, Palm Bill to see, has a small, like, little crack on it. That's why I got liquidated. So that stinks. But I mean, something like this, I would not sell online. This thing I'd sell locally. You know, like meet up the person, meet with, meet up with the person in person, let them see it first, make sure they actually wanted it. You might be able to, you know, replace the watch face on a Timex, maybe, maybe not. A Belkin wireless charging, oh, I'm keeping this. Yep, I'm keeping that. Welcome, a Belkin wireless charging stand. Yeah, I can use that. I need some more of those. Let's see. <laughs> Four pack of brand new Energizer AA batteries. We have an in we have an integrated furnace control. Parts are still sealed. I don't know. I have to look see if that thing is complete or damaged or anything. I don't know. But yeah, let's see. Keep going. iPhone cord. iPhone cord iPhone cord, 
uh, Samsung S10 Plus Otter Box Case Symmetry. Brand new. Buy a good 15 bucks on that. Drone battery charger. Oh, you gotta be careful with some of these battery chargers. Because some of these have been recalled because they're fire hazards. So, things like this before I ever sell these, I always check to make sure there's no recalls on items like this. Because there has been in, in the past. Always be careful what you sell. Two more iPhone cords. Wow, this is a huge thing. Two, 320 gel pack pins. I'm sure there's probably a couple in there that, that are missing. But yeah, 320 pack of gel pack pins. The barcode's actually not covered up. I'm kind of curious how much this thing sells for new. Because I don't think I've ever sold... I've sold gel pack pins before, but nothing this big of a package. Amazon, $25.99. So yeah, something like this. That's a good like a local sale for like maybe 15 bucks or so. Yeah, I'll try to sell lo locally somewhere, some somehow. Two more iPhone cords. We've got a white snake, a little box of snakes. Is this thing, oh man, they have this thing all mass, like masking tape shut. I'm gonna have to take a heat gun and carefully remove all the tape. I don't wanna damage this, open this thing up, but it is a white snake. Looks like one, three, six. It is an eight disc CD set. Pretty much every CD that ever came out with looks like pretty much. White snake, little box of snakes. I'm sure this thing's probably new. Some decent money actually. Some of these box sets can you know get kind of pricey at times. But White Snake sells new for 34 bucks. So use as long as I can get this tape off that damage in the packaging. Maybe 15, 20 bucks on that. A few things left. We've got two mystery boxes. Of course, it's still factory sealed, which is a good thing. That's also oh nope nope that one's not factory sealed. That one's been opened. Oh, we have phone mount for your car. Two of those little cheapy thing and then two items left in this box we got another timex watch oh that one's brand new still that's a nice one it looks pretty nice so some of these timex watches this is a timex expedition let me look this up real quick the brand just makes it sound like a little bit fancier expedition so this sells new on Amazon for $39 on Amazon. There's like all the different colors of it. So new for 40 bucks. That thing is brand new. Still has the film on like the face of it and everything. So in the package, you know, I buy myself like 30 bucks, you know, quick flip. Oh, then then this I already pulled out. Oh, another uh, wireless charger, another wireless charging pad. Cool. So that's everything for the first box. I got one more box left, so I'll be right back. Here we go, box number two. Hopefully this one has maybe another big thing in it or two. That first one had the uh, money and ID card counterfeit detector. Nice item, like a hundred dollar bill right there. So hopefully this second box has something else in it of good substantial value, because it's always best. You spend this kind of money, get like one or two items that pay for the entire pallet and everything else is it's pure profit. So let's go. Do this. Two handset cordless system. I sell these things so quickly, like just the home phone still, are crazy fast sellers in 2019, now 2020. So that's a good 20 bucks right there. That's not a joke. They've moved very, very quickly. People still buy a lot of those. Oh, we got a mod pack for a PlayStation 4. Adds paddles to the PS4 controller. Really? That's different. I actually might have to try this out on my PS4 controller. See what it really does to it. See if it really helps anything. That's different. I might have to try it out. I might end up keeping that if I'm not careful. Oh, what is this? Oh, T.16000M, a flight control system. This is something you don't usually get in. Oh, it's still factory seal too. Nice. But yeah, this is not something I usually get in pallets. I usually don't get this kind of 
item in liquidation pallets. This is not common. I have no clue which thing sells for. I don't know if this thing's like a $20 item or like a $50 item. I think this is the first time I've ever gotten like, like a PC gaming controller. That's not bad. That's not bad. It sells new on Amazon. Now it's on sale for $54.99. Thrustmaster Hotus Warthog Joystick. Okay. So, mine's still factory sealed. Something like this, I'll probably try to sell locally first for about 40 bucks, you know? If it sells over 55, you try to sell for 40, it'll probably go pretty quickly locally. So that's a decent item. Not big, big ticket, but you know, I'll, <clears throat> I'll take in a heartbeat. Oh, what is this? Do we have another mystery box? Oh, no, oh, nice. We got a JBL Extreme speaker right here. This says it's a JBL Ocean Blue Extreme 2 portable Bluetooth speaker. Wireless Bluetooth streaming, 15 hours of playtime, waterproof JBL Connect speakerphone, JBL base uh, radiator, and factory research. I think I already said that. Nice. Here's a good item. Whoa, this is one of those big ones, too. Here is the charger for it. And here's the speaker. Awesome. Look at that monstrosity. That thing is huge. JBL Extreme 2? I've never seen this before. I'm going to have to charge this thing up, try it out, see if it works. Does it have a charge? No, nah, it's got no charge in it. It's dead. It needs to be charged up. But, man, this is nice. I don't know what this thing sells for, but I'm going to find out here in a second. Okay, I'm looking just on eBay. Uh, I'm seeing brand new selling for between two and two twenty-five dollars for brand new. But now I'm looking at, like, used and refurbished. Uh, this is actually factory certified refurbished too. So refurbished, I'll be looking at like 180. Here's a 140, another 140, 160. This is for like used refurbished. Uh, one, what would it be? 158, 169, 146, 165, 148. So you know what? This is factory refurbished. This is easily, easily like a hundred and fifty dollar item right here. Oh, I'm very happy with that. This is probably end up going to be my big ticket item in this entire palette. So that's nice. Has the charging cord for it and everything. So I love getting stuff like this out of pallets. That is freaking awesome. So with this item. The JBL speaker, and then on the first box, that counterfeit detector, these two things, they pay for the whole pallet. Nice. So, yeah, cool. I'm liking that. Okay. Another HDMI cord. A Amazon Basics branded. Let's see what's this. Go Gamer Portable My Arcade 16. Oh, I'm actually going to play with this <laughs> before I sell it. See if it's any fun or not. It might be kind of awesome. This might be something that I actually might have to keep up. I, I kind of like my gadgets and gizmos, you know. A bow stitch stapler. That's nice. We have a Microsoft Bluetooth Mobile 3600 mouse. It's been used. It's been, uh, been resealed. But a Microsoft Bluetooth mouse. Probably a good 20 bucks right there. Here we have another, oh, it's, is this the same one? It came out of the package during shipping, it looks like. And fixed. Another Bluetooth mouse. 36 times, this is a 4,000, you know, probably another like 20 bucks or so for that mouse. Okay, we're getting down to the bottom of this box. We have some writing pads, like a package of about a dozen of them. Okay. Then we have a big old what is this? Oh, it's that's that ends HDMI end. This is the ultra heavy duty, very thick HDMI cord. Wow, that's things like heavy duty. 
That might be like more expensive, maybe. Then we got a Mead Self Adhesive Poly Pockets. That's a decent item with the with with the Smeed little pocket things. Yeah, five bucks on that or so. Okay, then we got four things left. That's it. We have a glass screen protector for a mobile phone. 64 ultra clean washable crayons in electronics palette. That makes sense. And then we have some kind of a knob that will go on like, like furniture or something. Replacement knob. Okay, electronics. And then we got a thing of some of some like tags. You could use these tags for just blank like doggy tags kind kind of a thing. That's different. So that's it. That's everything in these two boxes. So they that was fun. Got out some pretty cool tech stuff. Got out a really nice JBL Bluetooth factory recertified speaker. That was the big ticket item. A money counterfeit detector. A PC gaming joystick, which you hardly ever get out of pallets. Got uh, I think a PS4 game or two. Got uh, computer mouses, some computer fans, lots of, of course, HDMI cords and iPhone cords and stuff like that. Some telephones, got a couple records. So yeah, this was a fun palette. This is a good variety of stuff. And uh, it's gonna make me money no matter what. I paid a total of $246 and just the JBL speaker and the, the counterfeit detector will pay for the whole palette. Everything else will be nothing but profit. Once it sells, of course, after it sells. So yeah. This is my full-time job, pal flip. This is what I do. I buy stuff on liquidation and I resell it in person and online, whichever the best way to sell items, diversify how you sell stuff and make the most money you possibly can. So I'll see you next time with some more Amazon liquidation customer return pallets. I'm out. <laughs>